Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here. I'm so happy to have you. I wanted to sit down and film kind of just a like a little haul, a recent haul. I couldn't tell you over what span of time these purchases have been. Um, Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I just wanted to do a recent haul. I, I enjoy watching hauls and really this is, this is really for myself. I need to sort of hit pause, take an inventory on things that I have purchased recently and get my shit together and basically just like remind myself how much stuff I have brought in recently because I am, I've mentioned this in another video, I am trying very hard to not buy any makeup or not buy a ton of makeup. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting my camera here. Um, until after Christmas. So now with that being said, I'm going to be upfront with you. I'm buying the ColourPop Rob Beauty Christie collection. The whole damn collection. All of it. I have not, like, a ColourPop release has not excited me. And I honestly couldn't tell you how long. Like, I have no idea. Like, their shit does not do it for me anymore. But I'm getting that collection every single piece. It looks amazing. I'm not even like a huge fan of Raw Beauty Christie. I mean, like I know who she is. I don't have, I don't have anything against her. I just don't really watch her like that. I, I just became aware of her actually within the last probably four or five months. I know she has a huge following. She seems really genuine, really cool. Um, but I just think the collection is beautiful. So that will be mine. But let's just get into what I have in front of me. The amount of makeup I have in front of me is ridiculous and it's not even everything. Like there are eyeliners, um, there's another mascara, there are, I haven't even included eyeshadow palettes or like, well there's a couple smaller palettes, but I mean like the bigger palettes that I've gotten in the last couple months. Um, there's some lip liners that I don't have included in here. I just sort of went through my drawers really quick grabbed the things that I saw that I knew were new. So I don't even know where to start. I'll swatch what I can. I don't know that I'm going to swatch everything or this video is probably going to be really long. Um, let's start. I guess let's just start with lips because it's what's right in front of me. I I've gone a little bit lip product crazy recently. Let's start with my Flower Beauty lipsticks. These are the, um, I really like their cream formula. They have a matte formula as well, but I really, really like these Petal Pout cream lipsticks. So let's swatch these. I have five different shades. The first one is Spiced Petal. These are so, so pretty. Just a dusty, dusty pinky mauve color. This is peachy nude. I don't think I need to describe what this is gonna look like to you. This is beautiful. I love this color. Peachy nude right there. I've got Flamingo Flirt, which I've worn before. And this is super pretty too. It's like a pinky, like a pinky red. It's not really like a true pink or a true red. Although I will say it does, definitely leans more red than pink in my opinion. This is Bright Peony. 
this one is so this one actually looks more flamingo-esque to me but that's that right there and then lastly we have sort of the deepest color the rouge berry which i've worn before too so pretty but these lipsticks are some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks they're just they're so easy to apply they're smooth they have a really really nice color selection uh, they wear pretty well throughout the day um, I don't know I'm not really a person that necessarily needs my lipstick to last all day that's not like a concern for me I don't mind having to reapply um, so that's those what other lipsticks have I gotten oh this I'm actually wearing today this is the Fenty Mademoiselle lipstick in thick and this is oh I love this too and I don't typically like matte lipsticks but this formula is really really comfortable on the lips and that's it right there again kind of like a just a very dusty mauvey rose color I don't have a lip liner or anything on and I think it I think it looks quite good I got this is a L'Oreal Color Riche Shine. This is in, I love this packaging. It's so cute. Uh, this is in shade 900, Glossy Fawn. And these are glossy, obviously. But this is just another nude color. Looks really, really nice with a, a variety of like lip liner colors, a darker lip liner. Um, and I got a couple. I've always wanted to try these Almay lipsticks. I don't know if these have it, but how cute is this packaging? Like these little, the little tiger. And then this has little like, I don't know if those are birds of paradise or, but they're so cute. Um, I don't know if this collection has a name. Almay Lip Vibes. This is in the shade Worry Less. I have actually worn this a lot. I love this shade. It's, I mean, it, it looks actually like a very, very similar to that Fenty shade that I just swatched. This is just a little bit glossier actually, even though it says matte. Um, and then this one with the tigers is Go Wild. And this is definitely more like nude, so. You have Worry Less and Go Wild. And then I got, as far as glosses, I have a few glosses here. Um, I wanted to try, I've been wanting to try these Nabla Shine Theory glosses for a while. I mean, first of all, look at this packaging. Like, the packaging on these is so beautiful. I just love it. And this is uh, the shade District, which is, I'm gonna just swatch this on my other hand, which is just like a, a nude, right there. Just a nude gloss. Um, I have only worn this once, so I don't have much of a, much of an opinion formulated about it, but, um, but I, I liked it. It's, um, it's not sticky. It doesn't give you like the little, you know, when you wear gloss sometimes and your lips like stick together and you get that weird stringy stuff. I hate a gloss that does that. That doesn't, um, it's, yeah, I like it. And then these are quickly becoming some of my new favorite glosses too. These Maybelline Lifter glosses. They're so pretty and they're so pigmented and they just make your lips look so full and beautiful. So I have three shades. I have Petal. Like for this honestly looks like a lipstick. Like this is insanely pigmented for a lip gloss. It's, it's kind of a theme here with the colors I like. That's that that dusty mauve color that I like. This is Topaz. Now these all do have like some reflex running through them. They are 
you know, glittery, but not in a, not in a bad way. Uh, did I say that was topaz? Yeah, that's it right there. Kind of like a, it's almost like a peachy, peachy nude color. And this is brass. This is a really fun color. It is, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. It is like a sheer, it's like a sheer, I'm going to show it to you in the tube. Hopefully you'll be able to see what it looks like. That's what it looks like in the tube. And then this is it swatched right there. It's so, so pretty and reflective on the lips. Um, so that is it for lips. Now I did get the, um, the Fenty Holiday Gloss Bomb set, the Glossy Posse, which I have shown in a previous video. Um, so those are relatively new as well. I don't know why I didn't grab them, but I, I showed them in that other video, which I'll link. Um, cause I did, I think I showed a few of these products in that video and even used some of them. So I can link that if you want to see some of them in use. Uh, let's do, let's do blush cause it's next. It's right in front of me. I went a little bit blush crazy in the last couple months. So the newest things to my collection are the Milani uh, cream blushes. So this is all four of them. You have Coral Crush, Blushing Berry, Nude Kiss, and Merlot Moment. So I have, I've swatched all of these. They're pretty, they're very pigmented. I actually wore Merlot Moment yesterday. So I will say this, it, I don't know, it's not my favorite formula of cream blush. It, I applied it with a stipple brush, which is what I normally do, but it definitely messed up my base. Like it lifted my foundation, my bronzer, like my cheeks looked all patchy. It was just kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I wasn't in love with how it looked. Next time I wear them, I'm going to try to just use my fingers. See if that works better or a sponge. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to try other colors too. Maybe it was just that color that is like the darkest color that's in there. But um, I don't totally have an opinion about those yet. But I wasn't in love with how it looked yesterday. I got a couple of the Nabla. Um, skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder these are so pretty I'm really sort of starting to fall in love with Nabla as a brand these are so soft look at that swatch so pretty this is the shade uh, adults only it's a very deep like I don't know almost like coppery um, almost like a coppery, like maroon color. It's really, really unique for a blush. And this is the shade, there's the swatch right there. This is the shade Truth. And this is just more of a neutral, um, like pink. Just a pinky color there. Super, super pretty. I used adults only once, liked it looked beautiful on the cheeks. I have not used Truth yet. So that's those. Um, I showed this in a video. I haven't used it yet. This is new. This is the LA Girl um, Island Hottie blush palette. You just have like some, these are a little bit uh, more shimmery here, these peach colors, and then you have some neutral, neutral colors. Wow, Marin, riveting. Uh, and then this is another one that I've shown in a video. This is the Undone Beauty, the uh, three in one lip to cheek palette. Now, when I initially showed this, I think I had said like, oh, you can use it for your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, which I think you can. It is a three in one color cream. It does say lip to cheek palette. It doesn't say anything about eyes. So I don't really know how this would perform on the eyes. I guess if you like that, you know, glossy eye look, it would be cool. 
But since using that, I have actually discovered what the three in one claim really means. So what it means is you can probably tell that there it's, it's in three different sections. So this top section here, it's meant to go from like sheerest application to most opaque. So if you keep your brush just in this upper part, you're going to get the most sheer application. This is like medium and this is very opaque. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I, I did actually swatch it that way. And, and it does, I don't know how well it would pick up on camera, so I'm not going to swatch it, but it, it does look like that in person. It does look like that is the case. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, that might be it for blush. Oh, unless, I mean, you've seen this, but let me show it again. My, this is the Natasha Denona, uh, diamond and blush palette. It does say like, oh, one Daria on this so I'm assuming that's the shade but there she is right there in all of her glory she's so pretty so you have your cream products in this top row cream highlight cream blush I don't actually think this is a cream this pink one I don't think that's a cream so I'm not really sure why it's up there but it's pretty like look at that pink highlight ah you can't see it Okay, sorry, let's swatch that somewhere else because you couldn't really see that, that pink highlighter because it is so, so pretty. It's pink, but it's not, I don't know, it's still just so beautiful. It doesn't look like just a stripe of pink on your face. Um, all of these are, I have used every single shade in here. It's so so pretty i got this on sale it was 50 percent off on her website i only paid like 40 something dollars for it i would never never pay over eight i mean i think regular price this was like 88 dollars no gross no um what else oh another blush I look I don't know who I am okay I made a Natasha Denona and a Charlotte Tilbury order in the last month I know it's weird but I have been wanting to try these these are their um oh it's she has weird fucking names for her products the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand bitch it's blush this is Pinkgasm and so so pretty it's a liquid blush but these I'm wearing it today I'm wearing actually this and the highlighter I got from Charlotte Tilbury today but that's it and it like it shears out so beautifully it um, it does not disrupt my base it did not affect my foundation or my bronzer and then let's go ahead and this is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. I got the shade Medium. Don't ask me why. Maybe they were sold out of the other one. So it is a little bit dark, but it works. Like, it works. I'm wearing it. Well, I'm wearing it underneath another highlighter today. So that's it right there. Oh, these products are just so, so pretty. I'm kind of mad at myself that I bought them because now I'm going to gonna continue to want them but they were worth it I'm glad I have them in my collection I love them um another is that it for blush I think so and I know that was a highlighter so let's just jump into highlighter this I've shown in another video this is the physician's formula um dewy highlighter with jojoba oil this is honeydew so this is it um Let's swatch it for you. I'm just swatching everywhere. Uh, that's it right there. Honeydew. Pretty. I only used it in that that one video where I was trying new products. Um, but I like it. It looked, I wore it underneath my foundation. Um, going to continue to use it, of course. Um, what else? What else? Um, I got... 
So I got a couple drugstore highlights. This is the CoverGirl Super Stunner Hyper Glow. This is in Gilded Glory, which is like a goldish shade. Um, where do I want to swatch it? Right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. That's it. And then I got the Revlon Skin Lights. This has kind of a long name too. Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. This is Daybreak Glimmer. This one's really pretty. It's very, it's kind of icy. It's not, it's not my favorite, favorite highlighter, but it's, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. That's it right there. So that's them. I've already shown this in a video, so I'm not going to swatch it again. And well, really, I'm not going to swatch it because it's broken, but this is an undone beauty. Um, it's called a nonzer. So I don't know if you're supposed to use it like as a bronzer in a highlighter. I don't know. I would not use any of these to bronze personally. But four in one highlighting palette has glow giving coconut extract, but it's super, super pretty. I I'm going to use it. I'm just still kind of bummed out that it's broken. And then I got a couple other highlighter palettes. So this is in my stash right now this elf highlighter palette in inner glow well is that the name no this is in light excuse me i this is very very lackluster okay i'm not gonna lie it's super pretty in the pan and they're not bad but like look at that it's looks like nothing there th this top row here is better than the bottom row um i don't know they are just they're just nothing special you know these two shades right here are probably the best this one and this one um these bottom ones with this design are just like i don't know they're not bad. It's not, I feel bad because I love e.l.f. I think e.l.f. has just some really, really amazing, high quality, affordable products. This unfortunately just isn't one of them. It just isn't. Um, I don't regret it. I'm glad that I have it to try. I'm going to keep using it while it's in my stash, but I'm just not in love with it. And I find that I just keep going back to those two shades because they're, I don't know, I just like them the best. And then I bought uh, the, I've wanted this for so, for so long, the Soap X Revolution Highlighting Palette. This is Leaps and Bounds, better than the e.l.f. one, Leaps and Bounds. I'm wearing this today on top of the Charlotte Tilbury and it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Every, every shade in here. I haven't used every shade on my face. Like, I don't know. This one right here, I don't know is going to be a good highlight for me. It's a little bit, it's a little bit dark for a highlight, but it, I think it would look beautiful on the eyes if you just wanted to do something quick and shimmery and beautiful. But otherwise, all of those other shades, I'm pretty sure I can pull off as highlights really really liking this as opposed to the elf one and what else a couple mascaras i've talked about this multiple times the essence false lashes mascara love it i haven't opened this one yet the essence i heart extreme uh crazy volume mascara i've repurchased this is like my third time repurchasing this mascara i love it uh, but I want to get through that other one first. Eyes. I used these in a video before. These are the Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. I have Endgame and Cupid Glaze. I used these in a video. Like I said, I really, really enjoyed them. They wore well the whole day. Normally, like, cream eyeshadows like that tend to crease on me. 
those did not crease all day long they were beautiful and then I got this Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize this is oyster pearl brand new only worn it once but again it wore really really well for me all day um, no creasing but it's just such a pretty easy shade to put all over your lid really really you can buff it out really nicely um bronzer i got i showed this in another video as well this is the wet n wild um, color icon bronzer in sunset strip tees this came broken from target i've only used this a couple times it's not like an intense bronzer at all but it's so so pretty if you just want like a quick wash of color get a little life back into your skin it's so pretty love it super affordable um and then lastly what do i have uh just these eyeshadow palettes so i've talked about this my natasha denona mini zendo palette I love this guy. I love this guy. It's so pretty. I have to, <laughs> I threw it in my stash when I got it because I wanted to use it and I have to like keep myself from using it. I have to remind myself to use the other palettes that are in my stash because I just want to reach for this. Like this is the only Natasha Denona experience that I have is this palette. And I love it. Um, I can't see myself purchasing one of her bigger palettes because they are ridiculously priced. Like there's no way. But that was only 25 bucks. So I felt a little bit better about that. And then this is the LA Girl. This is their Keep It Playful collection. I think they had like three or four palettes like this. And this is the Four Play. But you can see it's very, very copper heavy, very warm. I used this once when I got it and I really like it. It's, I have two of the bigger LA Girl palettes, like the 16 or 20 pan ones. And those are incredible. Like I, I really, really enjoy those as far as like drugstore quality eyeshadows. I love those. Um, and this is right on par. The quality of this is amazing. The shimmers are beautiful. Um, you know, if you are a person who likes to match their eyeshadows to the season, this would be great for summer. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of pretty gold, you know, gold bronzy colors in there and fall. So I don't, I'm not really a person that likes to do that, but if you are, then that is lovely and it's affordable. And I think that that's everything. I think that's everything. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah. So like I said, that's it. This video was really for me to just <laughs> take a step back and again, just kind of assess what I have brought into my collection recently. Um, and just be like, bitch, you don't need any more stuff. Like, look at all this. So, and I just thought it might be fun to share. I like watching hauls. I like seeing the stuff that people buy, but hopefully you enjoyed. If there's anything like in particular you want to see me use, you, you know, you want me to do some lip swatches, do a look with one of the palettes, I, whatever, just let me know. But if you've made it this far, I hope you will consider giving me a thumbs up. I hope you will consider subscribing to stick around for some more content. But that is going to do it for today. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and until next time.